Spanky coming up from the Inland Empire of SoCal, going the Pokemon Trainer, and we have Lido as the Weak Foot Trainer. Uh, we'll see how things go, man. Spanky's been one of those players who was had a really strong season at one point, kind of fell off, and then COVID happened, so he didn't have a chance to fully shine. But Spanky has been one of the one of the Pokemon Trainer threats here in SoCal. Yeah, definitely Pokemon Trainer can be a very difficult matchup for a lot of players due to the playstyle changing every time they change the Pokemon. Yeah, the character does a really good job at covering its bases, right? If you're looking for the damage, the speed, Squirtle does the trick. If you're looking for the strong mid-range and the projectiles to condition your opponent, you got Ivy Sword. And if you're looking for just raw knockback, very similar to how you would switch to Pyra, you go into Charizard. Yeah. That, those are the beauty of having those three characters in your toolkit. Definitely due to the different sizes, the weight also matters too. Squirtle is, I believe, the top one of the top five lightest characters in the game. So with there being advantages to each of them, there are also cons to each of them. Yeah, uh, well, of course, fortunately, we are seeing a pro. Uh, Ivasaur's hurt box does shift a little bit backwards for that forward smash. And of course, it's really good to definitely punish your opponent at the ledge. And we see how Spanky is able to kind of slowly space that here. But I do like it that he's trying to survive with the Vine Whip. There is a down air, not a second attempt here, but he still has the stage for a couple back airs. Lido, oh man, he's got the deep breathing. You already know that that few seconds of deep breathing is very dangerous. Oh, that was good from Spanky, though. The reason why Spanky might be a little bit more comfortable with this matchup is he does have Rockstar Ace, another Wii Fit trainer that actually lives around his region of Southern California, and which is the Inland Empire. So he's slightly used to that matchup a little bit. Spanky going for the down throw to Nair to Fair. Okay, I oh. Did, oh my goodness, that up, wow, that almost killed. Maybe if Lita was just a little bit higher percent, that would have just ended the second stock like that. Oh, that's a lot of unnecessary damage that Spanky is taking here. And that all came from just the deep end edge guard, but unfortunately Spanky was not able to get enough. Lita with the, with the soccer ball. Ooh, using deep breathing to slow oh, his fall, but I getting spiked in the process. I like that threat because a lot of Wii Fit trainers will go for deep breathing just to kind of slowly stall himself, but also get the buff because they do have the means of recovery to be able to still do that. Spanky's going to take that away and get the stock four here, and that's how we see a stock lead as well. A little bit off the deep end here. Oh my goodness. Nice Charizard change to get that very, very sneaky Vine Whip there and then be able to come back on the stage. And then Charizard for the extra weight and knockback. back. Yeah, this extra weight better come in handy because he's at 130 right now. But as we all know, heavies are meant to have rage since they have a lot of hard hitting moves, which oh, rage yeah. will help them a lot with this. That's why they're so heavy and can survive so long. Yeah, and of course, Spanky does have Charizard's back air and neutral air as great tools in the neutral uh, back air. We all know how it goes. If it is tempered, you will take a lot of knockback and you may possibly even lose your stock that way. 107 here, Spanky has so much control here. Lido having a rough time trying to recover. Oh my battle. gosh, that wasn't even, that was uncalled for. He, he didn't even have to do that. No, but he wanted to send him a message, man. He wanted to send him a message. Uh, that's true. It, it, in, in Smash, it's not a, it's not always about winning. It's about sending the message. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes it is. But if you want to instill fear in your opponent, the send the message. Send the message, man. The worst damage you can take in a fighting game is not the damage your character receives, but the damage you take in your mindset. Ah, yeah. Because that changes a lot, and you may not feel as comfortable or as confident as you did before, especially seeing how he got spiked afterwards. So Spanky moving up 1-0 against Lido here. This is a best of three for all you guys wondering as we get into the next match between these two. This time we're actually going Smashville, the smallest stage in the game. Oh, off stage play already. Dang, we, we haven't even been like 10 seconds into the match and they were already off stage. Very interesting. That was a great tech oh. to avoid, but Spank Spanky did read it with that dash attack. Great tech punish is coming out here from Spanky. Just trying to read how Lido is going to make those recoveries after tech situations and then punish accordingly. That's what I like to see here, especially when you go Squirtle. That's how you can rack up the damage. You have the speed, you have the combos. They're able to get into tech situations and move around your opponent faster. Barely missing that forward smash from Ivysaur. But you know that that damage has already spoken for itself. And Spanky is- Oh my gosh, that face. neutral air. Wow, that was far out, man. That He went way far off the stage to just do that. I mean, he just wanted to confirm that kill. <laughs> 
You could definitely tell he's like, okay. That's like, that's like me and Valorant when I see my opponent has one end, one player left. I'm hunting for that guy. <laughs> I'm yeah. going to go find him. You're like, I want to be the one to end it all. Yeah, exactly. And Spanky is definitely the one to end it all here with that neutral air. All right, Lilo having a little bit of a tough, tough time here. He does have a he does have a small buff, fortunately moving away. But I do like the fact that Spanky is, like I said, he is used to this matchup in a sense because he has played against Rockstar Ace, somebody who lives close to his area. Oh, oh. That, yeah, that put him in the ground. The, put him was, in the dirt. Put him in the dirt. Yeah, in the dirt. Oh, getting back into back on stage. That was an interesting down down tilt to just try to hit him and. Since it has a lot of knockback, if you hit the fire bit of the tail, that's mm. also very dangerous. You, oh, which is, it's basically tipper. Exa exactly, and that's a very strong tipper. I do like this from Lito, though. Has a little bit of center stage control, trying to take much control with it. Unfortunately, I like that from Lito. He sees that he's going for a deep end, but he knows that Spanky is around. Go for the jump, don't go low, because you know that nair, the down air, the upbeat, that'll change up a lot of things, especially from that right. deep. Spanky, though, will be able to get that forward smash and has such a strong stock lead. Now we've got Squirtle to start it up to just rack up that damage because, you know, my boy, he's combo heavy. So And he's got that speed. Yeah. And then I do like this from Lito, though. Slowly just trying to establish some sort of control. The way that you see Lito slowly just move, get that space away from Squirtle, right? You don't want to be caught in that range. You want to make sure that you're able to get around Squirtle and control the pace of the game with your projectiles. Remember what I said. If a character is faster than you, you can control them with projectiles and slowly get them to play your game. Right. Oh, oh no, no, he's okay. Scared, he's scared. okay I, was scared. I was scared. Yeah, I was scared. I'm like, no, not like this. Not on stream. <laughs> Lito, that was a great fair right there. Ooh, he tried to go for that side tilt. And it did connect. Oh, just uh, canceling that. Ooh, he tried to go for the, uh, the neutral B with the sun. Oh, getting hit by all these projectiles now. Nice. And of course, the soccer ball able to stop out Spanky right before that aerial. Nice. Look at the way that Lito has changed the edge. I like that. Oh, yeah. He, stall, the stall and the understanding of, okay, Spanky's going to keep going off stage. He's so comfortable. He does have that viral. He does have that tether recovery. I need to I need, I need to have him so, to fight something. No, that's oh, it. That's he it. read him it. that time. So the first time he went off, he actually drifted left <laughs> and went towards. So he's like, this time I know that Spanky's just going to go just a little bit from the ledge.